Time off solves everything. Forget cable, switch to Frontier. The Fios Triple Play brings dedicated 100% fiber optics to your home. Fios TV, 15 by 5 internet and digital phone for $119.99 per month with two-year price protection plan on qualifying service. FrontierPacificNW.com. Bob, as you well know, I've always believed that time off solves everything. <laughs> and yes, you do. It just does. Uh, and I'm now, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm speaking, though, uh, to NFL players. I mean, this is, uh, if there's one thing, now that now it's the same offseason that we've had before in the NFL, if there's one thing, come on, hold it together. <laughs> if there's one thing that has changed... Uh, is uh, we know it, it's the amount of work that guys are doing in the off season. Uh, you know, he's talking about this with Clayton a lot. That you were seeing guys getting hurt all the time in the off season. It never really made much sense to have as much hitting and as much stuff as they had because guys stay in shape. Guys don't fall out of shape or anything like that. Not anymore. I mean, training camp used to be to get in shape, right. and it isn't anymore. And so one of the things in that new deal is really backing off the commitments that guys have got to make in the offseason. We talked to Michael Robinson. I'm sure the podcast is up already. In fact, I know that it is. And he talked about that directly. And if there's one thing that we've heard from everyone, it's that every veteran loves this new deal. Yeah, the guys that are playing right now, the only guys that don't like it are the old school guys. Our old buddy, the crusty old linebacker, Dave well, Lyman, and those guys. And even some of the hardcores, I guess, maybe James Harrison of the Steelers. Some of those guys don't seem to be a big fan of less hitting in the offseason. But I, I think it does go a long way to extending careers and allowing as Michael Robinson said, and in case you missed it, you can check out the podcast. Um, you know, allowing guys to focus on things in their real life outside of football. And for him, it's the real Rob his mm -hmm. his future in media, and it just it just kind of becomes a bigger topic when you see things like Junior Seau and Dave Dorson and things like that taking place, where maybe it, they were too consumed with what was happening. There were too many hits happening with guys that suffered concussions, and maybe some of that came in the off season training that went on. So I think it. I don't think it's anything but a positive. I know there is there is a, another side to it again, the, the older school guys, but it seems like guys like Robinson and others that are playing currently really do appreciate it. Well, look, I mean, if we saw anything last year when there was no training camp basically whatsoever until the very end. No, no, there was training camp. There was none of the off-season workouts and all those things. Um, we did not see a whole rash of injuries go up or anything like that. The game was still the game. It still looked yeah. pretty much the same to us last year. You did see some guys out of shape, though. You did see some guys out of <laughs> shape Carpenter. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But at least injuries did not spike up or, right. or anything right. like that. that. That didn't happen. So, uh, to me, this makes a lot of sense to do it this way. I've never understood why have those guys hit so much in the off-season. And besides, if they can come up with stuff like like uh, the real Rob report. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's really good stuff.